Hey, hey, just Tom here with another quick video of another neat little gadget that I made for the uh, Xera mixes here. And um, you can see it here plugged into the MIDI in and also a USB. And you're wondering, what the heck is that? Well, basically, what I have is uh, my concern was if the Wi Fi goes crappy on you and you're middle of a set, you wanted to mute everything or something like that. At least this little, these, there's three switches here. Um, I programmed them for a couple of different things that I wanted this thing to do. And basically the USB connector is just uh, for getting power, for powering the uh, pick that's inside here. Um, I'll post some pictures of what the circuit looks like. Um, but um, pretty simple code, MIDI code that is. You gotta send some uh, MIDI messages over um, to the um, Xair mixer here. And this is just my one of my displays here. And this red button that you see right here, the very top button, what that button is used for is so that you can mute on the master mute. You can see it there on the bottom right. You can see it off right now and on. And I'm basically controlling that by by tapping that red button. That's basically going off and on. Um, that's my fail safe kind of, if anything goes awry and I want to be able to mute everything, at least I could reach over to the mixer here and hit the little red button there. I got a couple of more buttons, two more buttons, and when I program those to be, is that sometimes when we take a break, I quickly want to mute all the channels except for the MP3 uh, channels there. You can see right there, 15, 16. This is on the uh, XR 16 here. Um, otherwise, it'd be on the AUX channel there. So I basically have it so that if I come over here and the first black button below the uh, red button, if I tap that, you'll see what it does. It mutes all the channels. I tap it again. It just mutes the MP3 so that you could play your set. And you tap it one more time and everything's unmuted. And it just keeps cycling like that. Everything's, all the microphones are muted. Um, just the MP3 is muted and nothing's muted. And bottom button, what the bottom button does is it allows you to cycle through the, um, the scenes. So right now I'm on number two here. Um, actually, let me just bring this back to number one here and I'll show you. I'm going to do it manually here. Load up scene one here. Because I think I only have one and two. Um, but you'll see, that's on scene one here. I come over here, the very bottom button here, this button right Oops, this button right here. If I tap that button, you'll see what happens to the scene here. It's on scene number one right now, Chris, Chris right time. If I tap it, it goes to scene two. And if I keep tapping it, it goes all the way up to scene 30 and it keeps repeating. At least that allows you to get to the scene that you need it for, whatever gig you're playing at. So pretty much uh, what the little dongle allows you to do is master mute. It allows you to mute all your channels and unmute your MP3 player or mute your MP3 player and unmute all your channels or unmute everything. And then the bottom button just allows you to go through your scenes so that you can set your scenes. That's pretty much all I really wanted to be able to make something hardwired into the mixer in case uh, your Wi-Fi went belly up or your laptop or iPad went belly up and you really just needed to kind of mute things and stuff like that. At least this gives you a hardwired way of doing it. Um, I don't know how many people might be interested in it, but if people are interested in it, I might maybe make a, a few circuit boards and... Uh, Maybe start building some of these. Uh, won't be super cheap, but they won't be super expensive either. And what I might be able to also do is maybe custom uh, custom program some of these to send other different MIDI messages for doing different things. Um, one thing my friend wanted to do is to be able to mute on and off, uh, you know, an effects channel, and that's easy enough to do. And I might actually do that with the uh, my XR18 mixer. Um, so anyway. The only thing I'd have to change on here, if you were going to plug this into an X, uh, XR, uh, the XR18, because this is the 16, is the USB channel, instead of being this type of USB channel, it actually has the, uh, the square, older USB plug uh, that's made of hooking, uh, hooking up that type of cable. It'll be easy enough to adapt, but I don't know, just interesting to see what other people, here's my quarter board. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it. Take it.